Good morning, folks. We've got big news today about the nature of the universe, a couple new exoplanets discovered, and a bit of space weather as well. Let's start there over at spaceweathernews.com. Both the departing sunspots and the bright incoming fields we saw at the start have been quiet. No solar flares, and the incoming group might not even have any sunspots. Solar wind is relatively calm as well, got a bit more time before the intensified stream arrives, and until then it's quiet. Seems like the equatorial extensions of the northern coronal hole are never ending, so those streams, when they arrive, could last for a while. And don't forget the bigger coronal hole will become visible early next week. Let's quickly note that system did indeed bomb out as predicted in the northeast. The snow totals are only part of the battle as power outages, cold, and storm surges are threatening life and property. We're going next to a new exoplanet discovery. Three super-Earths, all 1.3 to 2.1 Earth radii, but orbiting tightly in 1, 3, and 6 days respectively. That means the planets are precisely the opposite of habitable due to heat and radiation proximity. Up next, a fascinating collaboration sought to create a super-dark matter map. Not detecting it directly, of course, but inferring it from weak lensing. The interesting thing was that they found significantly fewer halos that would be required under the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, and believe the data is so one-sided on that point, a flaw has indeed been revealed. Last but not least, and this is linked for you below with the other stories, Princeton has demonstrated that magnetic reconnection, which they say takes place in electric current concentrated sheets, and which can destabilize and release the entire energy of the circuit at point of disruption, can be set off by plasma turbulence, plasma bubbles. Magnetic disruptions of any kind along the current sheet can cause the explosive event. Now, not only does this mean that Alphen's comments on magnetic reconnection are likely to be true, but in terms of comets in the sun or anything else within the magnetic field of our star, it can have an effect on the surface from far away. Website members, Fly on the Wall podcast is already posted, got there last night, in addition to yet another of the conference presentations, the big one on cosmology. Instead, let's have a chat page only session today. See everyone there around 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.50 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.